Good morning. So I've been working on an herb garden this summer and I'm, I'm loving it. It's been super exciting to see what grows, how to care for it all. I've got a little ring going. I'm going to show y'all what we have today and uh, hopefully I'll be adding more to it. So. so this is my herb garden spot. I've got cat mint, columbine, one echinacea. I'm trying to see if it grows better in the shade than in the heat where I have it in direct sun. A little bit of spearmint, skull cap, There's a rogue peach tree growing out of this tree here. Um, some oregano, stevia, lemon balm, creeping jenny. I know that's not an herb, but it started as decoration over here with some sedums. And then a couple of blueberry starts. Let me give y'all a close up of these. My blueberry is doing good. I'm not sure if I am supposed to clip them back to make them more bushy. Maybe y'all could let me know. Beautiful creeping Jenny. This was a gift from a friend and it's just doing so well over here. My lemon balm is doing really well. I've got these rogue weeds. Maybe do some weeding. Stevia. The kids just love stevia. They make it bush out because they're always eating on it. And this is a, a rogue basil plant. Thai basil, I think. It used to be purple. I'm not sure why it changed colors. And a little bit of maybe creeping oregano, creeping thyme. I'm not sure. It didn't do so well. There's my little patch of oregano starting to flower. Over here. Is my skull cap. Hey, kitty. I'm wondering if I need to cut this back. Do I cut this back so that it's more bushy and it promotes flowering? I'm not sure about that either. The mint looks like it's about done with flowering, but I leave it up for the pollinators. And the cat mint over here. Looks like it's doing pretty well. I'll take you over to the columbine. Oh, and this is a tub of, uh, oh, what was this? Lilies and something else, I can't remember. I know you can't eat them, so I put them in the tub so the kids know to stay away from that. The columbine's doing good. I think it already bloomed for the year. So hopefully next year. And then these were Clarence. Clearance, Echinacea, and there is clearly a caterpillar or a grasshopper going to town on it. But their roots are strong, so I'm sure they're going to come back and look great. Oh, and back here, I have some horsetail. Love, love, love horsetail. It's got good medicinal benefits, and it is kind of a water plant so I may move some of this over into the chicken coop area and see how it grows we'll see I'll do that in a future video but so that's it for the herb garden out here so far loving it can't wait to expand and add new I'm gonna plant some fever few seeds soon and see how those grow but <clears throat> I'm glad you could join me and I hope you enjoyed seeing what herbs we got growing here. We'll talk to you soon.